Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. In this video, I'll show you how I repair my metal step ladder. As you can see here, the hinge detached itself from the main frame. So I want to be able to weld it together and bring it back to its normal state. Now, I didn't want to spend a lot of money, so I ended up getting a stick welding machine. This one here, the ARC 125DS, is about $150. I bought it with my own money. I also had to get the safety helmet which cost me about $50, together it's about $200. Of course, you also have to get the electrodes, right? The welding electrodes and the leather gloves. Now there's probably other things that I'll mention along the way in this video, so let's get started. Alright, so yeah, I want to fix this metal step ladder, which is quite annoying for me because, you know, when I try to use it, it's not very safe, right? So I knew that it can be uh, fixed if I weld it together. Now, of course, I could be cheap and put a um, metal wire and kind of swing it around, and that will be a temporary fix. But I really want to learn about welding. So I end up purchasing a very cheap welding machine. This is the the brand is Yes Welder. It's ARC 125DS. Now, I bought this with my own money and I don't know about this brand. I don't even care. All I care is that it works. I'm hoping that during uh, my welding, this is going to give me a good impression of this company. And if it is good, I will continue on to purchase other things from them. But other than that, I have no clue whether this is good or not. Okay, so this is my first time welding. I'm going to be very safe about it. I bought my uh, helmet so I'm ready for that as well because you don't want to burn your eyes with this very bright light so make sure you buy a proper equipment, uh, safety equipment. This is the uh, helmet. I'm gonna open it up and show you. And let me take this out first, put it away. Alright so make sure you also get a leather glove. I bought this from a local store as well as this welding electrode that you'll need. Uh, now the, the one that I got is the E 6113. This is an all-round uh, welding stick. So, yeah, I'm, I, I watch the YouTube videos and they recommend this for a small project. So, we'll see how it goes. All right, so here is the uh, helmet. It's the same company, the Yes Welding Machine Company. So, we'll see kind of how good it is. But if I open up, you can see there we go. It looks pretty decent. It's all plastic as you can see here. And this one supposedly to be uh, a better model. It's called Welding Helmet Pro Yes Welder, right? That's it. I don't know anything else about it. Oh, there it is. The model is the LY500, okay? So that's the one. It allows you to control the sensitivity of how dark the screen is going to be. And it's supposed to be a color screen, so I don't know what that means. Usually it's just green color when you see through it, but this one actually gives you some bit of color. So yeah I don't know and there's also a knob for delaying for example you know whether it's it's um, filtering uh, the light coming in and all that so you can delay that a bit there's a minimum maximum knobs you can adjust so I'll just set it to maximum maybe or maybe middle I don't know maybe minimum I, I think I'll set it to where it was before minimum minimum delay right so we'll see how that goes but other than that there we go if I put it on let's take off my glasses here for a minute there we go see looks decent but uh, we'll see how it how well it works right doesn't matter if it looks good or not if the question is the question is whether it works or not okay so that's that one one piece I don't think there oh there's a manual that comes with it yeah there's a manual right and there's also a plastic accessories that comes with it maybe as a replacement for this in case it cracks or something like that or wears out okay that one. All right. And then of course the welding machine itself. Okay. You got the manual and I don't know what oh this is a carrying strap, okay? Uh oh this special type of cord. This is a 220 volt cord. I don't have it outside so I'm probably not gonna be using this. I'm gonna I'm not gonna set my amperage too high, probably between 70 amp and 90 because the joint that I'm trying to weld is very small it's not a, a big joint uh, that 
that I need to weld it in. So it's not going to require too much uh, power to do that. It comes with a steel brush here, you can see. Now this handle is actually plastic, but the brush itself is made of steel, okay? What else? Okay, let's tilt this over. Okay. Ooh, something just fell off. <laughs> anyway, a lot of cords. Okay, there it is. This is the main one. Uh, very small. I guess you could just carry it around. And there is the negative electrode wire, and then there is the positive one. So these two cables, right? Looks, looks pretty decent. Uh, you can see it's made of metal frame, and then there is a plastic frame in the front and the back. A uh, big on and off switch button here, right? And uh, the uh, knob that adjusts the amount of current that's going in. Okay, well coming out, and there is a two terminal here, positive and negative. That's about it, very simple. So let's get started. I'll show you how I weld this step ladder together with the stick electrode. All right. So here we have my helmet, safety helmet on. And as you can see, I have my leather glove on. I'll put on the other one in a minute. But here we have a stick welding rod ready to go. This is the uh, E. 6013. Okay, so it's an all round stick welding electrode that you can use for small jobs. So I'm going to try to weld this together. As you can see, here is the machine. I haven't turned it on yet. I'm going to make sure that everything is in place. So you have the, let me just put on my glove first just in case I get electrocuted, right? Okay, so here it is. This is the, the black terminal or the ground terminal. We're going to clip it onto the chair like that. Okay, and okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this positive terminal with the, the stick like that. Okay, and when we come in contact, it will spark and cause the melting of the electrode. Now I'm going to make sure that it's correctly aligned when I'm trying to weld this together. Now I'm going to set the machine to, let's see, to around, let's turn it on. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down to, okay, you can go all the way down to nine, but I'm gonna crank it up to somewhere 70. Yeah, 70 is good, and then, I'm going to put on my helmet. Okay, and let's see. Let's try again. while to get work. Okay, not bad. Now what I learned is that um, 
you got to bring it up more than 70 amp I think 80 ish amp is good and also I think you might want to allow this machine to kind of warm up it takes about a minute or two and then you start doing the welding and then, um, that's about it now I'm, I'm sure I'm not doing the best job for welding but for a little uh, joint here I don't think it's that bad I'm just clean it up for a bit let me make sure I turn off the machine yes it's off and let's take it off here and let's see all right there we go it's not bad I mean a, a pro welder will be laughing at me but I think for what I'm trying to do here trying to just weld together this little piece and it's a good hobby to get into I don't think it's that bad of, at all let me just test the ladder itself if it's now wow look at that okay it's pretty decent let's see if I can walk on it and that's supposed to support my weight so there we go wow not bad huh Got it fixed. Hey, it's good to know a bit of skills here, right? All right, not the best welding, but it did put the joint together. Of course, it's not something you can sell. It's just more something you can fix at home and repair. Awesome, gotta use this more often, this welding machine. Now I have to say though, it took a while to get started, as you can see throughout the video, but I think what I learned from this is that you gotta wait a few minutes, maybe two minutes, and um, make sure that you get the two electrodes close together, and then place it with a joint that need to be weld, and that's about it. And I think this little welder is only good for small joints. I don't recommend it for anything bigger, like you know, any kind of uh, thick metal piece, maybe a, a thin joint. I think it's good so like here when I'm fixing my metal step ladder I think it's it does a good job actually okay not the nicest welding because I'm not a welder I'm not even a professional not even close but it does a job and I'm happy with the purchase for less than 200 bucks with all my equipment I needed I can experiment and play around with it as long as I'm safe about it so I have my leather glove and my helmet as well as you know a proper clothing and ready to go thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and also give me a little heart of appreciation as well bye